welcome back and hey to everybody that is new as well. Uh, for those of you that are new, this is, uh, my name is Ali, this is Little Hunter Moon and um, I'm currently on maternity leave which is why at the start of each video I'm putting an update on how we are doing. Um, so what news have I got for you this week? This week I was poorly. So Hunter had a chest infection like two weeks ago and then this week it passed on to me, didn't it? I don't know if you ever saw his nursery. Um, so, like, I went for a druid theme. It's pretty neat. Um, so Hunter passed his chest infection onto me. I had to go to, oh, hello, song goddess. I had to go to the doctors on Saturday out of hours and get some amoxicillin. Um, I am now better, but because I'm asthmatic, it took me on a little bit of a deep plunge into coughing and feeling pretty crappy. Um, but I'm a lot better now. Now we've had the tablets, so that's that news. Uh, this little one has learned to hold his neck up now. He, yeah, he's holding his neck up. We put him, uh, did some tummy time yesterday and he was holding it up properly. And as you can see, my hand is here. The other hand is holding the camera and we have the neck in the air. So really coming on leaps and bounds. Um, at baby yoga, I do baby yoga, oh, so much sun. I do baby yoga on a Monday. Um, and he, at baby yoga, we go upside down. Well, he goes upside down and he absolutely loves it. So he's been going upside down a lot this week um, and wanted to go upside down and go exploring all the time, aren't you? You're always on to go exploring now. You say hi. Hi, YouTube. Um, Work-wise, reading-wise, I am still doing one day a month. My May readings are booking up already. Um, April readings are fully booked. May readings are booking up. I've got a couple of spaces left for May if you want um, your reading. I'm just getting a deposit from people rather than the full amount of money. Um, and then when... The, sorry, the light is like really bright. And then when um, it gets nearer to the time, I will take the, the remainder of the payment if you want a reading in May. And like I said, spaces are super limited and they're filling up fast. Um, I know it's quite a way off, um, but because it's only one day a month because of being restricted by UK law, um, it's a bit wank. Excuse my language, but it's a bit crap. But I, can only, I can't work any more than that. Um, so... That's it really, that's our news for the week. Nothing else to tell you, nothing new to say. Um, we're both better, we're both rocking and rolling. We did baby yoga, we do baby sensory, um, and we're both better. That's the news, and spaces for readings are filling up for me. So, oh, and there's Popsy. Where is she? There, Poppy. Can you say hi to YouTube? Hi YouTube. Um, it's Popsy too, because she hasn't been on camera for ages. When I first started the channel, I used to have the screen so she could wander in and out, but with the setup of the new houses, um, I haven't been able to do that. So, um, yeah, she can't go in and out of the screen, but she's uh, she's there now. Um, so, I love you all to pieces. I will see you next week. T uh, stay blessed, stay good, be safe, and um, lots of love from us both. And Popsy. Say bye, Hunter. He says, ciao. Ciao. Say bye, Popsy. Hope you can see her. Don't know if you can. <laughs> bye, guys. Hi, guys, and welcome back. And today we are doing what do they want from you? Okay, so what does your person want from you? Do they want you sexually? Do they want you emotionally? Do they want you as just a hookup? Do they want to be friends? Do they want more? What do they want from you? Okay, deck number one, deck number two, uh, both green, green decks, both focusing on heart-centered energy. Think about your person for me, and as you're thinking about your person, push your energy into the decks you are most drawn to. As always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Dreaming Way Tarot, and the other deck is a Robin Wood Tarot. Okay, so let's go. What, how, what, yeah, what does your person want from you? What do they want? Can you get me into the collective energy of deck number one, please? What does their person want from the connection? Okay, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, changes. Our deck number one is all pushing all that mutual energy of you all into the cards. Cards. Okay. What do they want? Let's go. What does their person want from the connection? So I'm getting the song, uh, How Long Will I Love You? As Long As There's Stars Above You. Longer If I Can. Um, Ellie Goulding, I want to say. What do they want from the connection? It's just 
a lot of you are debt number one, your circumstances are a bit more complicated. So, with that song popping up, with that song popping up, your person does want a future with you. However, circumstances are not making this very easy for you guys. Um, potentially legal stuff needs to happen. Um, I don't know, divorces maybe, maybe they're going through breakups, maybe there's houses involved, maybe there's monetary issues. Um, your person, this is what's pressing pause on it. This is what's pressing pause on the connection with you both. They have circumstances that are just meaning that they're not giving you what you want at this moment in time. Uh, some of you guys, it's third party. You will know about that, okay? So if you're sitting there saying, oh, I don't know if they're seeing someone else, that's because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those of you that do know. So you have this emotions over here. You have these feelings for you. Um, what your person wants um, is an easy life. What have they got? A hard one. At the moment, their life is extremely complicated. There seems to be a lot of arguments, tension, things going on around them that is just meaning that you two are a bit, a bit stuck. And if it isn't their circumstances, it's likely that it could be yours, okay? So circumstances are what is dividing this connection at the moment. It doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean anything like that. It's just that those circumstances are what is stopping this moving forward. What do they want? Well, in an ideal world, they'd love this to work out, okay? They'd want this to work out. They are seeing this, though, quite practically. They're not seeing this as an ideal world situation. Um, your person is very logical. They work very much on the mind um, and the mind energy. So with this um, connection and what they want from it, at the moment, their mind is what is dictating the situation and saying, oh, you know what? I'd like to give you this back this is happening or this could happen but i'm stuck and um, and this is where your connection is so they have got to work through these battle wounds first and foremost for them to release their energy to re release their emotions tell you how they're feeling and what they want it's like they have to meet you in the middle and at the moment they're just pressing pause on that pressing pause on meeting you in the middle because of circumstances um now they are burdened by this. They are feeling that you're going to walk away, that you're going to get really, really fed up with it, that you're not going to put up with their BS for much longer. Um, and this is where these emotions are going to come forward for them, where they're going to start talking to you about it. But right now they are really focused on what's happening in their life rather than the situation with you. Um, which I know sounds a bit brutal, but I have to tell you exactly what Spirit is saying. They're focusing more on what they want with their life um, rather than where this connection is going between you both right now. Okay, so when we're looking at things right now, that is where the energy is. Um, so let's go a bit further into the future. Let's put these cards back and just see what's the outcome for deck number one and where this connection is going. The outcome for deck number one. So once they've had a bit of time to sort through their business, sort things through, this is when they can make happier moves towards you and you can have happy outcomes with them. Um, it looks like things are moving forward as the summer hits. You're going to be like, oh my God, that's ages away. Um, there's still this, this indecision with them. You know, there's still this indecision, but you have a happy outcome. So with regard to you and them and where it's going, what they want, They'd like this connection to work out with you. Um, we've got the devil card kind of jumping in here for this pull and push energy between you both. You know, these feelings, these emotions, um, but not making massive progress with it. So, what they want is they want to be with you. The practicality of it is that they are stuck in their own mind at the moment and they don't know how to move forward. They're not ready to create those changes. And I just got ch 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 changes turned to face a strange David Bowie. Um, they're not quite ready to create these changes at this point in time. Doesn't mean that they don't want a future with you. Doesn't mean that they don't see this developing. But right now they can't give you what you want. So you might find that they say, let's just be friends with benefits. Let's just be FBs. Let's just see what happens. I'm not committing to you. This very strong kind of lack of commitment coming up with what they want from the connection. So riding with the energies, going with the flow of it all, um, that pull energy towards you um, is quite urgent as well. So if they do go quiet on you, they will come back. Please don't panic about that. But where it's going, 
if it's going to be moving forward, it's going to be happening in the summer months, okay? Um, that's when the progression route will happen with you guys around the summer months, so between and then May and August, those month times are when things will shift into your favour. Um, but they have got to change their circumstances first and they've got to be the ones that create those changes. And like, again, as I said at the start, if it isn't them, that will be you and you creating those circumstances and you creating those changes for what you want. They'd like to be with you, but they are just pressing pause on it all at the moment. That's what they want. They just want to see what happens, go with the flow um, and get their stuff sorted. Once their shit is sorted, that's when they can offer you more than what they have been. That's step number one. All right, my beauties, I love you all. I'll speak to you soon. Blessings. Okay, guys, step number two, we're doing what do they want from you? So this is where we look at the connection, where the connection's headed, um, what energy they want from you. Do they want to be friends of benefits? Do they want to be lovers? Do they want to be partners? Um, do they want to be FBs? All that jazz. So we're looking at what they want from the connection with you. So think about your person, please, as we cross enemy lines and we go into their energy. What do they want? Crossing enemy lines, that's what Spirit said really clearly. It's a joke, they're, they're not being serious. Okay, what do they want from the connection? Let's have a look. Can you tell me, please, what does deck number two, what do the people want from the connection with those watching? I love this deck. I love all my decks, but this deck is very, very special. But the cards are boxed again. What do they want? Rushka. Three. You ever heard Kate Bush? Uh, babushka, babushka. That's what's coming through. I don't know the lyrics to it, but it's definitely a Kate Bush song. Song? Song. Okay. Right, what's the outcome over here? What's the outcome of deck number two? Right, so I'm getting Time, Feet Delilah uh, by Chase and Status, if you like your drum and bass, if you're a bit of a party animal, um, that coming up. So, you and your person, this is, this is a complicated, this is complicated, you and your person have got complications with the connection okay so you've been hurt you guys watching have likely been hurt by your person that you might feel like they've thrown you into the bus that they've really upset you that they betrayed you that they've not really done anything that nothing's really happening whatever your individual circumstances are you are feeling quite upset with this situation at the moment and unsure on how it can progress there is a bit of a standstill going on, okay? And it might feel with the death card at the bottom that the situation has come to a close. Maybe you're not talking or you're worried that the situation is coming to a close. So sometimes it's going to be fears of the mind. The reason why I'm saying that is you've got quite a lot of swords energy coming out, a sword standing for the mind energy going on, um, a lot of fear happening around this that the situation isn't progressing the way you want it to. Um, looks like there's been a few nighttime arrangements going on with a few of you guys as well but it's left you feeling quite sad at the end of it um that they haven't aligned with your energy they haven't given you what you want and you are there wondering where is this going what's going to happen now so your person has been pressing pause on this and the reason why they've been pressing pause on it is because in the past they've been hurt in the past they've been betrayed and they don't really know what to do over the situation at the moment they're just riding it out taking their time of it waiting to see how it how it all unfurls um very much focusing on the present moment rather than focusing on the past or at the future um the past energy the only past energy that's coming up is a sense of betrayal so they have been hurt in the past um and it's quite sad really because that dynamic of them being hurt in the past is kind of what they're doing to you now they're hurting you not deliberately um but there is that energy of you feeling heavy and sad from this connection um the past it keeps coming up the past energy going on with you so energy with this from both of your pasts but more so from theirs that they've been hurt and therefore they aren't ready for this kind of level of commitment that you probably want um that they, you're going to feel that they've been playing you a little bit, that it's been going a bit forwards and a bit backwards and nothing really happening. Now, that is where your energy is standing at the moment. 
okay? So heavy energy right now, sad energy right now, but it is short-lived. Okay, so this isn't going to last. This is just where you are, and it's temporary. Spirit saying temporary. Um, just saw a rope, and they dropped it. A big, fat piece of rope, and Spirit just dropped it on the floor. And they're saying, drop the rope. Let it go. So if you've been at loggerheads with them, if you've been fighting with them, if you've been having this tug of war, just drop your rope. Um, let the situation go for a little bit. Release it. Surrender it, okay? Because it's through surrendering that there is rebirth. That's what they're saying. The reason why that's just coming up is we have the magician, okay? Um, turning us, popping into this energy. Beautiful, beautiful turning us. I love him. Coming into your energy here, um, a Celtic god. Okay, a Celtic god of protection, a Celtic god of the animals and saving saving creatures. Um, and with this coming up as the magician energy, this is showing that your energies are aligning. This relationship is protected, okay? This relationship is safe. It's just been going through a difficult time. Your person through this rebirth will make moves towards you and there's going to be an offer of more stability coming your way. Um, at the moment, they're thinking about it. Okay. So you haven't got this progression route just yet. It's going to take a bit of time. Um, but once they have got through this kind of, I can't deal with this, I can't deal with the relationship, this isn't what I want. Once they've worked their way through that and they've thought about it, this is when they will make this offer. So he's holding the world in his hands. He's ready for an adventure. And that adventure comes from the offering. Now, with the offering coming forward, you're probably going to find that it's it might be a little bit loose. So it's not going to be like, hey, let's be in a relationship. Let's make this work. Be a little bit looser than that. Um, but it could be something like, oh, do you want to go to the cinema? Do you want to do this? Do you want to hang out? Do you want to do something that's a little bit more than being in bed with me all night? And um, that energy aligning coming forward, they're going to make a stronger move towards you. Possibly not quite the move that you want. Uh, because like I said, you're looking for this, give me a relationship. But this is slow, steady progress. Okay, slow movement but steady movement, it's coming in and it comes from your energies aligning and your energies align through rebirth and rebirth comes through these dark nights, unfortunately. Um, now, the overall outcome, when I cast the cards of the outcome, we have the star, we have the sun and we have the six of cups. Okay, so six of cups is a reconciliation, rebirth again, connection moving forward, sun, happy outcomes, masculine energy coming up over here, never sexually orientated or gender specific, remember, um, but we always have masculine and feminine in tarot, okay, the, the balancing of the energies, okay, things aligning, happy outcomes, progression, the star being on the right path, feminine energy and a masculine energy and a rebirth, okay, so your connection will be rebirthing, it's just that through these darker nights, um, where things are and they're not giving you what you want at the moment, that's when they'll they'll move it forward, okay? Um, takes you guys probably to take a little little bit of a step back. Doesn't have to be massive, I'm done. Just a little bit of a step back will make your person want this connection to move further forward. Happy outcomes over it all. So what they want at the moment is they just want to see what happens, see where it goes, take their time with it all, um, get over things that have happened in their past, once they're over that, this is this is hunky dory and it moves forward. So um, play them at their own game, go at their own speed, let it all unfill. Um, positive outcomes, rebirth, definite rebirth of this connection. When the rebirth happens, that's when they're going to say, let's let's make this work, let's move this forward. Um, and I just got the streets. Let's push things forward. Um, <laughs> streets terrible British music. Um, well, some of you might like it. I used to like the streets when I was out drinking when I was in my 20s. Now I look back, I think, uh, did I really like the streets? <laughs> um, but push things forward, okay? So it's through this kind of stagnation and through things not really happening that they're gonna make moves more towards you. Um, so they'll probably say, let's just see where we're going. Friends with benefits at the moment. Um, but yeah, I do really like you. Let's see what happens. And that's what they want. Okay, guys, that's set number two. I love you all to pieces. I'll speak to you soon. So many goddess blessings your way. Take care. Uh, lots of love. Ciao.